Hey guys, <laughs> we're going on a photo shoot 2019 calendar for the McKinnon Brewery with the featured models Ben and Keegan. Join us. We're at the McKinnon Brothers Brewing Company, a farm-based brewery founded by brothers Ivan and Ben McKinnon. These two goofs on the bicycle are not them. However, meet one of the owners and head of sales, Benjamin, and brewery assistant, best friend, and aspiring runway model, Keegan. Okay, so what are you guys drinking? I, this is the Red one. Fox today, Summer Ale. Yeah, today we're drinking our Red Fox Summer Ale. So this beer is uh, basically just a beer we came up with <clears throat> that we wanted to be a little creative with. So our, our buddy Andrew, who's also a co-owner of the brewery, yeah. His family has a uh, beet farm up in Stainer. So what this red color actually comes from is about 120 pounds of beets that we put in each batch of beer. 120 pounds uh, of 120 beets? pounds of beets, Ooh. yeah. So that gives it this bright red color. And uh, yeah, actually the first time we, we made this. we juice it all this, by hand. Yeah. Really? Yes. I don't know if you're joking. No, we do. Really? Yeah, it sucks. Okay, and I feel bad because when we showed up, like, do people like to smell this? Yeah, well, we I think, personally enjoy yeah. it. I, I definitely don't hate it. Like it's smelly. Uh, the, the cows down the road eat this stuff, actually. Really? Will you yeah. guys eat it? You bet. Like it be the cow. <laughs> nah. All, all it is is spent grain. So when you mash in during the brewing process, this is uh, all just made up into flour, basically, through a grain mill. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, it's uh, put into our mash tun where it's soaked and extracts all the sugars, proteins, enzymes that the yeast actually they have a little schnookums there. <laughs> yeah, he's a sloppy. Either. No, I'm not. I'm a, I'm a horrible person. <laughs> okay, so I this is super naive of me, and I'm not. I don't know very much about the process. When you take this, it, you're saying you're taking out the sugars, correct? And that's into just. So that's what the yeast uh, eventually metabolizes to actually create alcohol yeah. and CO2 as a byproduct. Am <laughs> I good? Give me a little. There it is. He's good. How long ago did you start? Yeah, so Dan and like I. How did you get into So this? Dan and I, who are the McKinnon brothers, yeah. um, we had this idea roughly, I guess, five or six years ago now. Ivan wanted to come back home from the farm. He was working in London as an engineer. Dan uh, was just finishing up his master's in uh, brewing and distilling over at Harry Watt University in wow. Edinburgh, Scotland. And I was just finishing uh, my university degree at Waterloo. So we all just kind of decided to pool our money together and, and try it. So. Dan and Ivan's family have been uh, working this uh, farm since 1784. This farm is 1784, 17... yeah. This property has been in the same family for this long? That's correct, since uh, before, before <laughs> Canada sick. was even a country. So just wanting to add, farming's not a very hot way of making money anymore. So the, the diversification was the justification for that was to start a brewery on this land. And the kind of the shtick with the brewery is to use our own ingredients to actually make beer with. So right now, uh, per batch, we're at about 20%, and we release a beer kind of every year uh, that is actually 100% farm grown. Um, so right now we have our harvest ale out, and we'll be releasing a new one for our festival this summer. Which is so... <laughs> it's become way bigger than a brewery. It's, you guys are a brand. Let's go over here because this is my favorite and I, I won't kick it. So, okay, so when I see this, I think of... Um, a landfill? <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's a signature piece here that represents the festival. Can you, like, this festival, you guys are getting ready for the... What year is it? Uh, uh, yeah, this is our fourth year fourth of year. doing the festival and it's got exponentially bigger every single year. So, we're pretty fired up this year to uh, release 4,500 tickets for it. The whole goal with the entire festival is to bring the community back together kind of as a see you later, take care of yourself fella to summer. Yeah, um, it's become a huge part of this brewery. Like, it's our biggest day of the year. I think it's important for us to give back yes. to like the Kingston and surrounding areas. You yeah, because I mean? this isn't so, like, you're not making millions of dollars doing no, it. No, no, but about... it, it's like, no, we're not. The bar yeah. staffs that we sell our beers at, you know what I mean? We, they love we coming We work to it us. for them, you know what I mean? So. 
Well, I know every time I've come, it's like you have kids playing. Like it's like a full. It's a Sunday. Yeah. Right. So it can you can turn it into whatever you want. Exactly. For yeah. We have a kids zone. We're gonna have a petting zoo this year. You do? With, yeah. Which is. What kind of animals? Uh, standard farm animals for some the most sheep. part. There's gonna be some sheep. Some. Is this guy uh, lazy in the pen? Goats. He will yeah. be in the pen from uh, noon till three. I think. I'm gonna be the. Wild, I'm gonna be. Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna be the wild beast inside the pen. So, stay Hello. tuned for that. Uh, yeah, we have a video game zone. Like everybody who's participating in this festival and bring it all together are community members. This is our personal power field. Yeah. Okay. Really? They're all electric. This is electrical all, power you field. You guys are right all here. very unsafe. Careful, right you have to all be careful. All these lines are. <laughs> okay, guys. Live. Everything's okay, live. In no, here. Seriously? <laughs> like, Everything you, in here is live. You, you actually have to tell me what these are. Yeah. Now we're, uh, this is our hop field. Yeah, this is our, their little hop plantation here. So uh, yeah, we have, currently we have five different varieties of hops in here. We're actually adding two more rows uh, over here. Um, since it's so early in the spring right now, and we've had actually kind of a late spring, you're not really seeing much right now. Hops are a natural preservative, and they're also a bittering agent, right? They have a, a large flavor profile that can be like any other variety of any other thing, they can differ. So even if we bring it back to like peppers, green peppers, yellow peppers, orange peppers, yeah. red peppers, they all taste differently, right? right. Same sort of idea with hops. They all have their kind of genetic uh, way of growing and different flavor profiles. So depending on which hops you use for which beer, you get a different flavor. When do they start growing? Like what's They're actually the... growing They're right, to now. Like right we now. Could, we could dig in here if we want to and take a look. See this right here? That's a hop oh. plant starting to go right here. So <clears throat> what we do, what we would do is actually train it up with the, uh, with the uh, baler twine and it basically spirals all the way up and grows all the way up. It goes all the way to the top of the aircraft cable. Then it starts to flower about early July. It starts to flower and produce the actual uh, buds of hops. And then we cut them all down uh, near the, uh, just after the festival in August. It goes through a machine, peltizes the hops, and Bob's your uncle, we got, uh, we got peltized hops ready to brew with. Isn't like hop season like crazy you're working this like This time of year is as crazy as any time around here due to the fact that the farm's in full swing, yeah. the brewery's getting really hot right now. You could be spending, I think Ben spent, spent 12 days, 12 hours starting the road yesterday. We were in the fields last night for eight or nine hours. It really varies. This and May I, to June. And I, poor old Ivan probably put in 20 yeah. hours yesterday. Ivan. Why the heck do you do this? Like, like you must really love beer. Well, honestly, uh, I'm not a huge, I'm not a huge beer, beer nerd, beer nerd if no. you will, you know? Uh, Working for yourself is awesome. It, it really is. Not having a boss, but having the ambition and the drive to get things done every day, starting new projects, whatever you want them to be, you can make anything you want. Well, and that's the thing, it's more than beer. Well, I'm, who would have thought that, that <clears throat> making a beer would bring this festival to life? I know. Here? Like, I've said it a million times, like, it, the festival has become such an enormous part of like our year. Yeah. And to think that because we make beer, brings music, you know, food trucks, local businesses, local people from around here all together for one awesome day. Yeah. It's wicked. And just like for me, like obviously not being on the, the owner side of things like these guys, watching the growth of this place in the last like three and a half years for me has been, has been crazy. You're in Kingston 70, 72%? Of the beer goes to Kingston. Where else is it going? Uh, the rest actually goes anywhere from Gann, uh, Brockville, Napanee, the county, Belleville, and then uh, the GTA. We haven't physically been able to produce enough beer to start taking on the Ottawa market right. and uh, the rest of the kind of but you so, could, like, southern people want Not that there hasn't been any interest. Cause, no, that's what I'm saying. There's yeah. interest. People but want it, but we can't. We can't provide. Like our our local domestic market is our biggest market, and it's really important that we know people's names and we know, you know everybody who's selling our beer on a, on a very personal level because that's the kind of people we are. You guys have a stylist coming, yeah. meeting us. Um, we're gonna prep you for the photo shoot. What, what are you guys trying to channel? What would be a consistent theme for the two of you through this, through this calendar? Yeah, yeah, summer vibes, man. Summer. Yeah. We, we've been needing this. This is our Have first taste of summer we've had. We've been waiting on it. I thought we could maybe do a commercial now. 
And for those who haven't tried it, try our 8-Man English Pale Ale. <laughs> made with real hops, barley, water, and yeast. The four and only ingredients you need to make beer. Black and Blue with Pride, the Kidder Brothers Brewing Company. Things have changed. Closet candy. Time to change. Oh, oh my god, your models have arrived. Guys, guys, how's it going? Hi, Ben. Keegan. How are today? We're bringing in Keegan. This is Keegs. Hi, I'm French. We hug. We hug. We hug. And and so, so Keegs and Ben. Keegan, what are you feeling? Summer, cottage, beach, white, all white maybe. Ben, what are we feeling? Sexy, dangerous, safe, and dull, okay? okay. I want to show off my curves. Because okay. I have lots of them, okay? And maybe accentuate my hair just a little bit. Uh, you know, it's there. High maintenance, eh, Ben? Okay, now we have something to work with. Let's get to the shoot. Yeah. Let's go. To the bar, to the bar. Yeah, let's go. Okay. We're out. Where are the other places in the area that your beers there that we can kind of showcase? Yeah, Casa, pretty much okay. everywhere there. Casa's there. There's a lot right of spots there. in that area. Olivea, Tango, Sir John's, Jack Perfect. Astor's. Oh, great. And we okay. Can probably, All of those. Uh, okay. finish it off at uh, Red House if we really okay. want to. Mm. So let's try and do that. We Good idea, get... Vandenberg. Th thanks, Keegan. <laughs> <laughs> so we <laughs> anyway. really want to talk quickly, you two guys. Um, I'm going to on the street here. No, no, hold hands. You're pushing it right now, Jess. Cars, Kevin, come on, come on. So let's do Casa and then Olivia. How do you feel about that? Love it. I'm easy. No, lean forward. That's perfect. Great. Take great. Thanks, guys. Love it. So uh, are you ready? Tell us why. Tall, tall. Six, tall. seven, eight, and one. Work it. And feel it. Look above me. Look above me. Work it. Work it. Work it. Awesome. OK, you ready? Yes. Count strong, down. strong, strong. Count us down, boo. Above me. Get you a hair flip halfway through. Chin up, look out, look out. Your strong poses. Yeah. Impromptu, love it. Oh, uh, yeah, perfect. We brought Kingston to a stand, so that, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> it already knows what Yeah. Tell me if a car's in me. Ready? Let's go. Bye. We're going to stop in there, but we have no time. Is... Guys, how are you feeling today? Honestly, Claire, I feel good, I feel confident, but a little worn out. It was, it was a long day. I think people underestimate um, being a model. Show business isn't easy. I found that out the hard way today, that there's a lot that goes into it. Mm -hmm. I'm thankful for the opportunity, but uh, it's not as glamorous as one would think. Ben, can you agree? I can. A lot of yelling, a lot of screaming, but also a lot of laughs. Yeah. Man, I can't see your guys' really eyes. I'd like to... Connect. Oh, yeah, 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 you yeah. yeah. It's not easy to be on camera, but also be on double camera doing a photo shoot. Finding your center in the middle of uh, public space, especially when we were out um, in the busy streets of Kingston. You're right about that, Claire, but at the same time, uh, we had a good time doing it. These are our people, these are our peers, this is our community, so it's easy to get comfortable where you're most comfortable. Yeah, I mean, I agree. We, we kind of learn on the fly. Fast on the fly. Right? Speaking of flies. Speaking of flies. They fly. Get those. The on the fly. Get that one. But, That's uh, a joke. But, um, <laughs> I, I'm glad you brought me a beer. Cheers.